Hi guys, I'm RPJ with Peak Design. Uh, we're going to give you an overview of the, the everyday messenger bag and uh, generally kind of explain setup, who it's for, how to use it, and uh, hopefully you'll uh, have a pretty good understanding of what you're doing by the end of the video. Um, first off, uh, this is a messenger style camera bag. So it's a little bit slimmer than an average camera bag in an effort to make it a little bit easier to move through crowds. Um, it has uh, a very slim, high density foam uh, to try and keep the bulk down as much as possible. And uh, basically, uh, it has a very not too crazy uh, messenger bag setup. Uh, it'll probably look fairly familiar to most people. Um, the strap is, is great, and there's a separate video for strap um, uh, to check out, or separate, uh, it might tack on the end of this video, but. Uh, Highly recommended to check that out and really understand how to use the strap. It's got a lot of really cool features. Um, so let's get right into it here. We've got a, uh, first of all, the closure um, of the bag is via this uh, large flap here. And this is going to allow quite a bit of expandability in the bag. So you can see I can go all the way down here and it gets nice and slim. Or I can go to the, uh, the top rung here and uh, for when the bag is really filled up. So you get quite a bit of a, a jump in volume there, which is great. Um, we've also got uh, top back access uh, zippers um, as well to uh, get into your stuff, as well as a dedicated 15 inch, uh, 15 -inch MacBook uh, sleeve in the back with a uh, tablet sleeve as well, so you can separate uh, your devices. Uh, these are water resistant zippers as well, so uh, with zipper garages, so you're not going to get uh, water in there uh, if you get caught in the rain. So let's talk about the maglash a little bit more. Um, this is a, a system that we've designed from the ground up, uh, and what we're trying to do is create a system that's blind, one-handed, intuitive, expandable, and secure. So you'll see I'm locked in here and there's no way it's coming open. But if I, uh, all I have to do is just pull out and then down, and that unlatches it. Uh, and then to click it back in place, there is a soft lock, so there's magnets that even if you, you're not looking, you can just put it down and it'll magnet itself into place. And then you just push up on the mag latch like that, and that clicks it in place. Or you can uh, kind of put it down, and then when you kind of go to grab the bag via the handle, that'll click it into place as well. So that's real fun. Um, if your bag is really loaded up uh, with an awkward load, um, it is possible to miss the, the bars on here one way or the other. So you, the only thing you really have to pay attention to is that you're landing sort of in the middle of the bar and everything should line up and work great. Um, let's see. So inside of the bag, um, we've got uh, quite a few uh, different uh, zipper options here. This is the main portion of the bag here with our flexible dividers. We'll get into those in a little bit. Um, everything is pattern stitched down so you're not going to have any pull away. Um, there's a great slip pocket here that's perfect for phones or uh, it actually fits a boarding pass or a passport perfect. Um, and that is accessible through the top zip here as well for really quick access to uh, those crucial items. Um, up here we've got a padded um, pocket. It's really great for um, uh, sunglasses or eyeglasses and things that like need a little bit little bit of protection and your gear is going to be protected from those as well. And it's just a really nice kind of quick and easy pocket to get, get uh, into. And then we've also got uh, a lot of great organization here in this front pocket. So this kind of comes down and you'll see that uh, on one side has a green stitch, the other side has a red stitch. So what we're trying to do there is, you don't have to use this system obviously, but for things like batteries and memory cards, it's a really simple uh, color coding system so that as uh, you go through batteries when you're shooting, you can move them from the, the green pockets to the red pockets and you know that those batteries are dead and you're not going to get confused or you know that this memory card is filled up or that you want to set that aside for later. Um, and uh, this is all a really super stretchy um, mesh here. So uh, everything uh, is, uh, all the pockets, you're, you're, I almost never find a situation where I can't stuff stuff into these pockets because they expand so much. So I think you'll uh, really enjoy that. Um, you can also leave the zippers like this for just quick access. You don't have to take them all the way down to get into everything. So you can leave just the top open. And it acts more like a standard just kind of slip pocket through the top. Um, I find myself doing that quite a bit when I'm uh, really 
switching out a lot of gear. Um, so let's explain this drawer in the inside of the bag. Uh, if we go to the side of the bag here, um, you see we have a, our strap attaches to these uh, diagonal bands here. And uh, that actually forms a, a great place to attach your capture camera clip. We'll get into that in a second. But um, it's also, there's a great pocket on the inside. So that's uh, phones. Uh, I, I like to use it to stash uh, lens caps and stuff when we're shooting because uh, it's just a nice, clean, open pocket. And um, in that pocket, there's also a key tether here. Um, and uh, that comes with our anchor attachment system. So this little anchor here loops around your keys or anything you don't want to lose, you kind of keep track of on here. And then it just clicks into the housing like so. And that all stashes in here. Um, same deal on the other side, except for you don't have the key leash on this side. So uh, the exterior fabric here is a polyester nylon blend. Um, it's waxed. Um, and uh, it has a DWR or a durable water repellent finish. So it's going to feed water, and then the wax gives it a nice sort of heavy hand feel, and uh, it gets nice and scuffed up and scratched as you wear the bag, and it kind of breaks in with you over time. Um, as far as caring for the bag, don't put it in the washing machine, don't do anything crazy. I it, treat it like a nice piece of uh, outdoor gear, um, and uh, basically do like a spot clean with warm water. Um, I wouldn't recommend submerging the whole bag purely because it's a composite product that has a lot of different foams in there and it'll probably just take forever to dry um, if you really soaked it. So just spot clean, warm water, mild detergent if you even need it and uh, it should be good to go. If your water repellent finish fades um, over time, um, just like a, a good jacket, um, it, we recommend the Nick Wax stuff uh, seem to work pretty well. For us, uh, it's about it's ten bucks a bottle. You can get it at any REI or uh, online. Um, as far as setting up capture, let's go over that. Um, so this is the capture camera clip. If you're not familiar, and how it works is uh, you undo these clamping bolts here, and that'll uh, allow you to open up the two plates. There's the back plate and what we call the chassis. And so this, the mounting point of the bag is right down here. So there's the pocket, but then there's also a, uh, a slot to put capture here. So you just feed it through like so, swing the chassis down into place. Maybe we'll loosen up these bolts a little bit more. And then that'll click in like so. We recommend bringing it up as high as possible, right under that bar tack there and nice and level. So, and then you just tighten those bolts. Kind of alternate to get the pressure nice and even. And right, what you're doing right now is compressing the foam. So, it's always a good idea to, you put it on and the foam will sort of give over the course of a day or two. And then you'll probably have to tighten it up a little bit as the foam kind of compresses and gives. So, so that's all tightened on there. And uh, then I've got my camera. This has one of our uh, base plates on it. This is a, an Arca Swiss tripod uh, compatible plate here. And uh, basically, you just slide it in through the top like so, and that clicks in automatically. And it's nice and secure. And then you push the red button to, uh, to release. There's a, uh, uh, a twist lock here, which you're not going to need on the bag. So I would just keep that open all the way. And then there's a safety lock on the red button that you do by turning it uh, a quarter turn, and that will uh, prevent the button from being pushed at all. So what that looks like in a, a use when you're using it on a day to day is that I have my bag here, swing it around a little bit, and you've got the capture, click it in place, my anchor a little here, click it in place like so, and that'll that'll hang kind of nice and out of the way so you don't bang it into stuff generally, especially in the messenger bag carry like this. Um, and it's great to be able to, uh, you can release it with two hands by holding onto your camera and then pushing um, the red button to release. The way I do it is I actually take the back of my pinky and uh, push the button like that and pull up. So it's a one-handed deal. Works great. Um, and then this key tether 
works perfectly um, for uh, attaching your capture so that uh, it's a, you know, there's a theft deterrent aspect there, although I don't really think any thieves know how to work capture, so this is probably not a real world scenario, but when you have your, uh, you pull it out of the clip, you can fire off quick shots here um, just by pulling the bag up to your face and it never leaves the bag. So it's a very secure uh, way to get shots off in uh, kind of a crazy situation where you don't have a lot of time to think. Um, and uh, it's really nice because to carry your camera on the outside of the bag because it frees up a lot of space on the inside of the bag here. And uh, so if you're, you know, you, your gear is ever expanding as mine usually is, um, you can actually just pull the camera completely out of the bag and store it on the outside and free up some more space. Um, yeah, so that's gen the general uh, use case for capture. If you uh, are setting it up on a, as a right shoulder carry, you can also put it on the opposite side of the bag. Uh, they both have the, uh, the slot for capture there. And when you're not using it, it's very unobtrusive, you won't even know it's there. So this is the, the FlexFold divider system, and it's all this very uh, uh, adaptable uh, EVA compression molded foam here, and it has these uh, sort of crease lines uh, that allow it to uh, expand and contract and fold in a multitude of different ways. So we're going to go over those now. When you first get the, uh, the bag, it's going to be set up. Uh, similar to this, and uh, there's Velcro at the three points, so when you're putting your inserts in, I like to just fold them up like this, stick it on the bottom where you want, and then just let the wings kind of expand out uh, like so. So the three main setups, uh, or three main positions for each of these inserts is all the way up like this, which is great if you've got um, tall gear uh, like so. Uh, it gives you like full height um, to all of your equipment and then you can do a, sort of a mid height like so where you fold these tops over and that keeps the, the height of all of the inserts a little bit lower for where you've got uh, uh, smaller uh, lenses and such like so and those are still uh, expandable so they're not going to pull away from the sides of the bag and then there's a, a setup here where you can close off certain sections um, to allow you to s uh, stack gear on top of each other. So you can have lenses down below and then stack something on top of it. And uh, you can actually do that for the whole bag. So you can have camera gear lining the bottom of the bag uh, or more sensitive stuff on the bottom of the bag completely enclosed and then use this top section here uh, to store, you know, fluffier stuff like accessory pouches or jackets or uh, even your camera body, like so. and they all just pop right back up into place like so. So it's very quick and easy to go from one setup to another. Um, there's one more um, position with these dividers that I'll go over here, and you actually take the thing and you fold it completely in half like that, and that gives you a, I'll do that one more time real slow. So fold it like so, and then back. And what that does is uh, it gives you a the lowest height setting um, so everything would be very low, and this is great if you have very small gear, and uh, or if you want to hang uh, the lens or the, the grip of the camera uh, off the side, like so. So then you can kind of create a little pouch uh, for the lens of your camera like that. All right, so this is the setup that I generally use. Um, I've got a Sony uh, a7 II with a really small adapted Nikon lens here and uh, a wide angle here. And then uh, I've got uh, a strap and a couple other little bits and bobs in here. So um, the great thing about this setup is that I can completely enclose all of my camera gear on the bottom. And uh, this is a great daily carry setup so that I can uh, bring lots of different stuff uh, around with me just by kind of uh, stacking it all in here. And uh, all my camera gear is nicely uh, protected and uh, still really easy to uh, get access to when I uh, know I'm gonna be shooting shots. I just uh, kind of open up the little trap, uh, trap door here. So 
So that's one setup. So like I said, if you've got taller gear, this is a great way to do it. So I'll, I'll kind of walk through that. Uh, I've got a pretty long lens on this guy here. And as you can see, it's right in the, perfectly flush actually with uh, the top of my inserts here. And then I can stack lenses in the, uh, in the bottom compartment here. So I'll close that off, throw another one on top like so. And then I've got a great compartment here. I don't know if, if you have a pouch, it's perfect to uh, stash your pouch on the side. So that's uh, quite a bit of gear I've got in there and it's uh, really packs in nicely and the bag can kind of expand and contract and you can stuff uh, other goodies in there as well to really fill it out. Like I've got my strap here, like so. All right, so this is a, a setup for sort of mid-height gear like we were talking about. Uh, in this one, I've uh, given a lot more room for the camera uh, to kind of get your hand in there. And you can give, you know, a lot more, but I've got nestles in there nice. Uh, got kind of a mid-size lens here on the side. Flash over here. And uh, that, uh, as you can see, with the mid-height stuff, the you're not going to be digging too deep into the inserts. Everything's nice and level and easy to, uh, get, to get a handle on. And... Uh, Again, nice and uh, lots of little cubbies to stash gear in here as well to really fill it out if you've got just a lot of crap to bring around with you. This is kind of a cool setup we like around the office also. So this is one of the, uh, the little half height ones that I've got here. So fold it like so. And then you kind of basically create a little, little box uh, for your lens down here like so, and that's great for if you've got a longer lens over here, and then that'll uh, rest right underneath the grip of your camera, so you've got a nice, uh, easy access to that, and then you can kind of close these sections off and uh, stack your gear on the uh, just on the right side there. You can also attach your inserts to the uh, to the sides of the bags um, in, in this fashion here, forming sort of a a little bit of a honeycomb shape actually. This is really great for uh, things like flashes and uh, maybe straps and kind of tall awkward shaped objects that uh, don't really want to stack very well. This is another great way to do it if you have a camera with a long lens. So you can store stuff here uh, underneath with the uh, dividers folded over and just lay your camera sideways on top here. This is great if you have a camera with a 70 to 200 or larger. Um, and we actually, so you can set it up like this. I don't have one at the moment because ours is on Africa and Safari, but you can imagine if I had a very long lens, you can just lay that right across the top there. And it's very easy access with the grip up top. So uh, to carry a tripod with your bag, we've got a pretty clever way to do it here. So uh, first things first, you're going to kind of want to line up your tripod here. And uh, you're going to need the legs to hang off the end of the bag just a little bit here. So I've got two of these extended already. So just kind of extend it roughly to where you need to be and tighten them down. So now I've got uh, that uh, just about perfect. So what you're going to do is... Uh, you can see behind this padded flat pocket here, there's a, there's sort of a tube that you can uh, put a leg of a tripod through. And in there, uh, when you first get the bag, there's going to be this little silicone band here. Um, so you just uh, hold on to that. And uh, basically, what you're going to do is open up your tripod a little bit like so. And you're going to shove it through like so. Close your bag kind of clamp it onto the lid like that. And then you're just going to take that little silicone band and uh, kind of contain the legs of the tripod so that it can't slip out or open up. So now that's on there nice and securely. I can, uh, you can see how that lays when it's on my back. Really clean. And then I can still swing the bag around and get in uh, via the flap here. Or, or the top zip, like so. And then to undo it, you just pull the band off, 
you can slide the tripod right out there and uh, band store is pretty nice on your wrist when you're not using it or just put it in the top zip of the bag. So we think it's a pretty great way to do it because you don't have a bunch of extra straps kind of flopping around on the bag. It keeps things really nice and clean um, for when you're not carrying a tripod. You don't have to suffer through all the messy strap business that comes along with it.